What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I wanted to do something a little bit on the risky side, okay? So I'll give you some disclaimers in a, in a, in a second, so please make sure to listen to all of them. Um, but that's basically, uh, this video is, is about, I'll show you how to change uh, different ClickFunnels elements that you can't normally change, okay? So you can't change them through the editor, nor can you actually change them just by getting, you know, going into settings, copying the CSS code as we've been doing before and putting it in your CSS spot, okay? So this will involve inspect element for those of you that are familiar, for those of you that aren't, um, this is, uh, right, this is something quite dangerous as it may break your page if you do it improperly. So if you, this disclaimers, I did want to uh, tell you at the beginning, these are important uh, be before I show you how to do all this. Um, one is this may not work for every single element. So if you want to change, for example, right, so, so over here, as you can see, right, I've changed a color of this uh, of, of this option to pink. I've changed the background color of this button to be a gradient color. I've changed the, the size and the color of this sub headline text of the button as well. I've changed the size of this question above and beyond of what is available. So over here, for example, if you go to advanced, there's no, you know, it caps at 47. And if I go into the CSS option code, I won't have the option to change it there. And of course I can't, change this anyway other than using inspect element okay but this may not apply to every single element uh this only applies to a few okay so the other thing i have to tell you is you have to be really really careful when you do this uh it may break your page if you do it improperly again i've mentioned it so if if you are doing this do it in one of three ways one go to preview and go on inspect element and make your changes here and then see if it works uh, and if it does go back to your page and save it um, the second thing you can do, and I would actually do all of them together is save this page as template and then make changes to it so that if there's anything wrong, you can, you can just delete it, delete everything and go back to the way it was. Okay. And the, the third thing you can do is, um, you can get out and create an entirely new funnel from blank has nothing on there. Practice test it out, see if it works, and then carry it on here, okay? So again, be very, very careful here. Um, you know, after watching this video, if something doesn't work out, please don't come back and blame me. I gave out all these disclaimers, be very careful. I would do all these three things that I just mentioned to you together. So use a separate page, save your page as template, and use preview before you make changes, okay? So with that out of the way, let's get in. So what you would do if you wanna make small changes like this is, for example, so let's put, let's put this one back the way it was. Let's make this one, uh, sorry, where was this? Yeah, here, so question size. So let's, let's, okay, so now I can't even change that, right? Okay, well, okay, so let's go to inspect, okay? So when you're on your page, right-click your ClickFunnels page, click on inspect, and then your, uh, your, your page may either show up here, sorry, or on the side, so here. So it may show up here, uh, it may show up on the left-hand side, it may show up at the bottom, or it may show up on the right hand side. Okay, for me, it's most convenient for it to be on the right hand side, but everything that's in here is, is the same. Okay, so the code inside of it does not matter. So don't be intimidated by all this. We won't be using most of it, like 99% of it, we'll only be using the 1%, okay? So what you do, suppose you wanna change this text uh, size or color, okay? What you would do, notice how after you click this little arrow button, you can hover over anything you want to and it will, it will tell you what you, like, like what it is you're hovering over, right? So over here, uh, it tells you all these options I can select and choose and change, right? So what you would do, you would hover over this option. And then at the top here, as you can see, it says element style. This is where you'll be making the changes, okay? So click on, you know, font size. For example, this one is 100 pixels. Um, so let's make it, let's change it to 20, right? And as you can see, I click enter, now it changed to 20. Uh, this one I can make 50 pixels now it's it's 50 okay so this is how you would do it above and beyond of what's available now if you want to change the color um i'll i'll, I'll give you a link to this site uh, basically whatever you want to change it will probably have here so you know if you decide you want to change a color just go to color and it will tell you what the code is so you would need to change it to say here's all the different options you have okay so just take a look at this if you want to change color of text for example uh here is it it would it would show you kind of what uh commands you need to put in okay in order to change whatever it is you're looking for so fonts so this is css3 let me see let me go back uh here yeah here colors okay yeah so stuff like that okay so so it's going to tell you what to change here um 
so you would do that there so if again if i want to change the color of this i'll say color and then make it right what, what color do you want orange you say orange right um i can say pink right whatever it is or you could say rg uh, rgba i think uh, and then let's put in say 255 255 255 and then we want to make it transparent maybe 0.5 and then the, the, there, there you go now right, right so now it's red but it's it's uh, semi-transparent so if i make this you know 0.1 you can hardly see it if i make it 0.9 uh, sorry, two five five. That, that's white, not not red. Okay, but uh, yeah. So so these are the options you have to change the color. Right? Make it this. Now it's that. Okay. So you get the idea. So suppose you want to change right this one. You you literally just hover over it. So over here, for example, for the button, or or if I want to change the background, I'll click on this right and see I changed the background there. Or I can go here, sign here. And I can change whatever it is I want to here. Okay. Now this is like I said, dangerous kind of risky business if you do it wrong okay so be very very careful definitely you know open a different page save your current page as template take all those precautions before making changes if you're totally unfamiliar with this um because like i said this may break your page you don't want to start over um and then here you just again you go here you refer to this page that you want to you know make 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 changes to you want to make a color uh you would look here how to do it or you would just type in google if you don't find what you want here just type in google how to how to change color and then you say CSS okay so whatever you want to CSS and then uh, probably click on the first link and then here it's gonna tell you right so if you want to change it click on color blue color green and then you'd go back here and you would say color right right there it's right things there so if I want to change this uh, from orange I'll say black or I think white would look good so click white right and then that's it right um, and that should do it so let me see this one is yeah so that's that that's that's fine so that's basically how you would do it just open like inspect element click on whichever part you want to change and then click hit save and now when you click preview it should show you kind of everything you need okay so uh once again be very very careful with this definitely check out the disclaimers at the beginning i said uh of the video um if you haven't uh, but what what i'm saying is uh this this may break your page so please use a different page uh before you try it out save your page as template and maybe even you know make changes because if i go here and i click on inspect i can do the same changes okay so i can practice here i can do my changes here uh, so, you know, I said color white, I can make this color black again and notice how it changes. Now I can't save it here, but I can see that it works. So I'm going to go back now and just change it here. Okay. But again, careful with how you use this. So that's about it. I just wanted to show you guys how you can change certain parts of your ClickFunnels page. If you, if you really want to change that little thing that's really getting in the way and you really want to change it and you don't know how, this is how you would do it. Right click, inspect element. Uh, it will kind of show you everything. Uh, like 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 all the options you have and then just put in right just left click there under this element style and put in change whatever you want to change sometimes things may already be written there so that you would just change it so let's see for this one nothing is written there uh let's see but yeah so this one for example already has the color so what i would do is then i would just change the color and I make it red for example and now i click save and we can click preview and now it's going to be red okay so that's basically how you would do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing uh, tools here, uh, you know, to to um, help you with your online marketing, whether it's review videos or how-to videos or you know stuff like ClickFunnels or Click Magic. Uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. Let me know what you thought if this was useful or if you've tried it and you do have any questions. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help. And with that, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.